this short video is just another example of the uh, direction of the mind control signal on my monitor as you can see slightly it's harder to see through the camera with uh, here we go it's harder to see with the camera um, you know based on the angle of the video screen but you can see now see there's the line okay and it slows and it speeds up and it it's clearly a different direction and speed than it was in the last video and now it's stopped it's found something it's zeroed in on a, you know it seems like it's sweeping it's looking it's uh, here we go it goes again uh, when I was a kid I used to have a CB radio a transmitter and I would transmit it and my TV would make these bars and the bars on the TV would correspond the, the thickness and the number of bars would correspond to how high the tone the pitch of the my voice was and I would play with this watching the, the, the bars move across the screen as I talked into the CB radio what we're seeing here is essentially the same theory uh, you know, TV monitors, sensitive uh, amplifiers picking up the input signal and somehow there's being broadcasted a, a signal that is overriding even the shielding of the amplifiers because the monitor is shielded to make sure that external signals like this don't interfere with your viewing of the, what's coming out of the computer. But clearly in this instance, uh, whatever's up with this monitor or the signal that's being sent here comes through the shielding and displays as bars and lines various directions sizes and speeds based on phase wavelength and frequency bandwidth uh, I believe this is an indication of a field that's in the room no yeah it's an indication of, okay. of external RF energy being broadcast to us. You also ob uh, observed um, metal being magnetized, um, being repulsed. Yeah, that's true. Strange things with yes. metal. Let's also, it, uh, it's, it seems to uh, contribute to uh, particles flying through the room.